Market Harbour. Market Harbour. This is 105.5 HFM. Chairman of the Harbour FM committee. It's uh, some time now since uh, a number of uh, us guys got together, um, all volunteers, uh, under the direction of one man, John Fitzpatrick. His idea was uh, a local radio station for Market Harbour, and he got a lot of individuals together, six of us to begin with. We met one dark, dreary evening in November, all six of us, and started to venture down the, the path towards local radio for Market Harbour. My previous experience in radio is working in hospital radio. I've done a few other things. Um, basically, my, my great interest in radio was a long, long time ago when I was listening to transistor radios in the 60s to Caroline and things like that. And uh, I became uh, what they, that they call an anorak. Uh, anorak. So um, based on listening to the, throughout the 70s, I was um, listening to Caroline, I decided to join Hospital Radio, and, and I always remember that because I was really useless in them days, and it used to start off, we'd go around and take phone calls and requests, and then to get on the air, you had to be on for a little while, that's how I really did first start off. I, I felt, when I moved away from this town, you know, I was doing a great thing in my life, moving out, you've always got to branch out somewhere in the line. I went up to London, I got involved with stations up there, then I got married and moved up to Scotland, where, which was a very remote um, village, smaller than Market Harbour, may I add, the size of Lovingham, and I uh, put on a cable radio station from there, which went down very well, and I do believe up to this date it is still working. Anyway, back, I came back to Market Harbour in 1987, and my bloody phone's ringing right. Response from advertisers was great because we never literally had anything, no money at all in the bank, literally nothing. When I first approached some advertisers, I bet they thought I was a butt nutty or something, you know? But when they realised we were being serious about it, they come on board. And thank you very much to all the advertisers. You know, they're, they're great. They're really great. It's been a long, long, hard trail. Long, hard trail. Lots of us have been involved, volunteers, local community, the shops, individuals, but a lot of hard work in. It's not been easy. We've met with resistance from various people, but thankfully, a lot of the local companies, local individuals, have pulled together, given us the equipment, given us the bits and pieces, advertised with us, sponsored us, donated money. It's been truly fantastic. Without a lot of people's help, this would never ever happen. So far, we've done their letterheads, business cards, leaflets, flyers, and all of the posters that have been displayed in shop windows and around the town. My name's David Granger. I um, first got involved in HFM because I was writing a story about it six months ago. I was tipped off about it. And I really liked the idea. I thought it was an excellent idea for Harbour to have its own radio station. Not only that, but to do it on a voluntary basis um, was a good idea. So we ran the story in the Harbour Mail. <coughs> with the station, not right from the start, a little bit later on after be walking by, got an office up the road, saw something was going on and thought, oh that looks interesting. I've been involved in Northampton for some years and broadcasting, so I thought it'd be a good idea to pop in and just see what's going on and offer services and they were looking for people at the time, we did some demos, had a play around and here I am one till four weekdays. 
my name's Mike, Mike Draper, and I'm really involved in this radio station as a bit of fun because I've not been on FM before, only done hospital radio. And that's really just peanuts by comparison. And the funniest part about being involved with this is that I'm the idiot that climbed up the ladder just to put that rotten air in up. This is an engine. .5 FM. Have you heard about the new radio station? Yes, I've heard of it, yes. It's and what do you think of it for Market Harbour? It's a, it's a good idea. We need something local so people can understand what's happening in the, in the town. Have you any preferences as to what sort of thing you'd like to hear on the station? I mean, you can be as blunt as you like, we don't mind. Well, unfortunately, being my age, I'm a more of a middle-of-the-road, uh, old fogey type, uh, Radio 2 type. Non I, uh, this uh, new, new modern uh, music is, uh, is not too good for me. I'm old as well, I'll own up. We're going to do some phone-ins as well. Would you be interested in, in sort of phone-in type things where you can voice an opinion and let us know what's going on? Yes, yeah, it's, it's a good idea because that's why I think people learn more. Thanks very much. Harbour FM. Have you heard about the new radio station that's starting in Market Harbour? I have done. I read it in the Harbour Mail this morning. And what do you think of the idea of Market Harbour having its own radio station? should be good because um, we'll be able to get information for the local area, the news and uh, any travel news, etc. should be good, yeah. What will you ex exactly be looking for from the station as regard to music and, and other events that are happening? Um, I don't really know, really. Um, anything. Um, what sort of music would you be looking for? Let's ask you that one first, then. Huh? Um, anything upbeat that's going to uh, cheer me up in the morning, help me through the rest of the day. I don't well, really we've got somebody good in the mornings. Uh, <laughs> Paul will be on first thing in the mornings. So he'll keep you awake. Hello there, we'll say good afternoon because we, we worked it out a little bit earlier on. Barry Clayson from Harbour FM. Have you heard about the new radio station? Yes, I have, yes. And what do you think of the idea of Market Harbour having a radio station? Very good indeed. What would you be expecting to or like to hear from the station when it starts? Uh, about traffic reports in the morning, uh, any local diversions and any special requests for people's birthdays and any sort of news, but, you know, the area. What sort of music, perhaps, would you like to hear? Um, from my point of view, a mixture. I mean, 50s, 60s, you know, a bit of each, really. A bit, bit of classical, mixed. I like any sort of music. Hello there, Barry Clayson from Harbour FM, the new radio station. Have you heard about us? We have, yes. Where did you hear about it? I read about it in the paper. Now, what would you be expecting from a radio station in Market Harbour? A uh, wide range of music. Um, topics, local topics. Um, I don't think you can do much more really for local radio, can you? Unless you want to fill us in on what's happening in Leicester and the Brampton. Well, we're spread out quite a way, so we will be. What sort of music would you expect it, or would you like to hear? Let's put it that way. Well, I mean, I, I like the modern music, so. Um, but I'm sure that there'd be scope for. Oh. Older ones like me, you're trying to say. Well, and me, yeah. <laughs> How about you? What sort of stuff would you be interested in listening to? Mostly, I suppose, pop and more towards the modern than the really old stuff, but then that goes with my age. Well, what's, you keep saying this really old stuff. What's the really old stuff, then? Oh, 60s. That's really old, is it? Yeah, that's really old, isn't oh. it? But uh, there's a lot of interest in that now, isn't there? Oh, that means I'm really old, then. <laughs> no, it means I'm older, but there is a lot of interest in it. We're both 21. <laughs> we'll be doing some phonings as well. I, I know you're at work now during the day, but are you interested in doing phonings? Do you do phoning competitions and that sort of thing? I don't personally, no, but there's a lot that do. And will you now? They're interesting. Yes, of course I will. 105.5 46 46 Well done. Yeah. There we are. Thank you. You can go for your lunch now. Thank you. Can you do me a soup, white, two sugars, please? Takes away the taste of the salt. That's Coleman. I'm uh, presenting the 8 till 10 slot on a Tuesday evening and a Thursday evening, and also a 3 till 6 slot on a Saturday afternoon. Um, I got involved with the station by actually ringing Paul up, one of the guys who's involved asking if he wanted some voiceovers for commercials because that's what I was interested in and I ended up getting roped into actually presenting a show I'm looking forward to it, I think it's going to be good fun something I've always wanted to do and uh, we'll be alright so we're two and a half days away from going on air live my actual show's on Tuesday so I've got an extra two days grace I've no idea how my evening show's going to be planned as yet um, 
But it'll be alright. Saturday afternoons, 3 till 6 is going to be the one that's going to be good. That's where I can actually introduce more of myself into the show rather than um, the evening show, which is going to be standard throughout the week, 8 till 10. Um, so, that's it, really. Right, well, my name's Pete Flower, and um, I got involved, really, because I'm a DJ down at the Broadway nightclub. And uh, they asked me if I'd like to do it, I thought, oh, jumped at it, really. Um, yeah, I mean, this is what Harbour has really needed, is uh, a local radio station. I'll be doing the 4 till 6 slot, the drive time, first half of the drive time, because that goes through from 4 till 7. Um, and yeah, really looking forward to it. We'll be doing things like the news and crime update. Hopefully not too much of that. And obviously the queue busters, see where, if there's any smashes up and um, and where the queues are in Market Harbour. I should be quite busy with that, with uh, obviously the roadworks in Market Harbour going on as they do. And we'll, do, we'll be doing some phone-ins and of course we'll be doing uh, some competitions as well, tied in with the breakfast show and other shows going on. And what else do you want me to say? Apart from I'm really looking forward to it, and I'm very frightened. <laughs> oh, I wish I knew what I was doing. I wish I knew what I was doing. Clutter free, crystal clear, 105.5 HFM. Place, isn't it? transmission of other stations is quite poor around here. What is the transmission like from uh, Harbour FM? Well that's right of course, all FM signals coming into the area are very very weak and poor. Harbour FM transmitting on 105.5 are actually putting out a good boom section for miles around. So what's the purpose of today's outing? Well we're driving around the surrounding villages and they're actually transmitting a test signal at the moment and we're trying to establish what the transmission radius is going to be. We want some idea as to what the, uh, the catchment area is going to be. Now this is just for charity for 28 days isn't it? That's right, all the proceeds from the station are going to be donated to local charities. Discounts is the first and only discount warehouse in Market Harbour. Open direct to the public. We deal in toys, stationery, curtains, bedding, fancy goods, tapes, batteries. My name's Jit, speaking from Rock One Discount, Clarence Street, Market Harbour. We sell. He told me everything about Harbour FM and I thought he just sounded too good to miss, so we started advertising with Harbour FM. Uh, we supported them all the way we can. Okay. We've done them car stickers. We've done advertising, we sponsored shows, and we'll see what, what else we can do in the future. Hey, hey, start the day the HFM way, 105.5 is alive, yeah. kick it. Hello. My shop teddies. Underwear, and nightwear, swimwear, and hosiery. I first became aware of Harbour FM with a letter coming in to, to me at the shop uh, explaining their intentions and their advertising rates and they were very good rates and I've never advertised on radio before because it's always been far too expensive so I thought I'd give it a go. I also like the fact that it's, it's to do with Market Harbour it's all for the local businesses and also supporting local charities which I'm very pleased to, to be able to do and I wish Harbour FM all the very very best and I shall certainly be tuned in. Treasure those golden moments with Insight Video Graphics. Your precious memories whenever you want them at the touch of a button again and again. For weddings, christenings and special occasions Call Insight Video Graphics on 431-465. I hate you, machine. Okay, all right, Jet. Um, one of our guys is on his way to see you now. With Insight Video Graphics, 431-465.
Ah, I forgot to hit the pestering button. Whenever it's raining, with four three one four six five. Don't look as alright, won't it? That sounds good. You happy with that? Yeah. Finally done it. Good afternoon and welcome aboard. We're Harbour FM 105.5. Phil Collins, something happened on the way to heaven. Mike and the mechanics over my shoulder making another great music mix <laughs> on 105.5 HFM. I'm Stephen Lewis. And this is Paul Moore as well in the studio. And we're here till four this afternoon. On Roast Beef with HFM. Great music all day long and classic oldies. One thing that mustn't be forgot is that um, this is run by volunteers, as I've said um, before. Um, and we've made it um, on the committee that um, we're going to do this, obviously for the benefit of local charities. Um, any money that is generated through the station is obviously there to cover the investment, the cost that um, a lot of people have uh, helped to contribute. But at the end of the day, we're now showing that we can be successful in this part of the country. And we've made it certain and we've ensured that a lot of the money we generate will be going to charity. We have had, uh, in fact, we conducted a presentation only two weeks ago to a local charity organisation, and uh, we'll be donating money to them, which will be distributed through many local charities that uh, will deserve and indeed benefit, hopefully, from the efforts of Harbour FM and the community at large who have all played a great part in bringing this to fruition. One out there is watching this. Never give up on your dream. Never give up on your dream. We'll be back again soon. <laughs> 